Hey there, everybody. This is Millennium Jester signing back in with Let's Play Pokemon. I know what you're saying. Holy shit, Pokemon, right? But we're back. And unfortunately, there's been some changes. Hopefully for the better. Yeah, that's right. Charles. Charles the Pokemon Master. Anyway, we have the fan favorites. We have we have Bristolf. We have Dig Dug. We have Pukachi. We have Mike. We have Birdo. And then we have this new guy. Who's he? Slim Cognito. The Blastoise. It's pretty beast, isn't he? Yes, well, I needed a surfing Pokemon anyway, and Pikachu wasn't taking the, uh... He wasn't, he wasn't doing too good as, uh, as a surfer, I suppose. Even though he had them off... Ah, uh, I can't even talk. He had those awesome 360s and whatnot. Anyway. So, yeah, pretty much the whole gang's here. I'm not sure which Pokemon I got rid of in order to replace with, you know, Slimcog there, but... Everybody's here, and unfortunately, there's a little bit of a drawback to the setup I'm using here. You see, I've been going this whole game without a flying Pokemon, in the hopes that eventually, Mike would go up and grow up into a Charizard with wings that would be able to ferry us around on his giant back. Because I guess that's how it works. Then again, Pidgeys can learn fly, so you gotta wonder what's going on there. What else? Oh yeah, so we're back here in Fuchsia. Fuchsia City. And there's no song for Fuchsia City, I'm sorry. And it's like, I'm gonna be a ninja. Extraordinary! So let's finally take on this gym. After all, it's been like, what, a month? A month since we've taken on this gym. Now, this gym is odd because of the sign it says that it's a poison gym. However, almost every trainer in here has like, psychic Pokemon. They're all jugglers. I'm sorry if you keep hearing some interference there, or reception, I don't know, what, I, I don't know what the word for it is, but some kind of feedback from my mic because I keep adjusting it. But anyway, we fight a juggler. A juggler? He's not a hypno. That's a psychic Pokemon. What, what, what the hell's a psychic Pokemon doing here? Yay, Dig Dug. Dig Dug just barely managed to take him out. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad, Dig Dug. You should, I should, I should expect more from you. Uh, who shall we switch in? Let's, let's move in, Pukachi. Let's see, let's see what kind of stuff he's been up to in the downtime we've had. I note that it really hasn't been downtime since my computer died and I had to, you know, start this game over from the beginning. So it's, it's not all fun and or fun and games here. Well, it is fun and is games so. I guess, I guess everything I just said was a lie. Anyway, let's just slam on these guys. Oh god, they're just having horrible times here. Yes, I'm sorry I'm like speeding up through here, but you know, it's for the better, I suppose. Now, I don't know how well this is going to show up in the actual recording, but you can see there are these little, these little lines here. Those are the walls, believe it or not, and it's actually kind of a maze to Koga, who's in the middle there, looking all cool. Look at him. I think he's so cool with his own character sprite. Or, I don't know, it doesn't, I've never seen any other character with that sprite. Maybe like a, a cool trainer or something, but I haven't seen one. Alright, let's, let's take on this guy. A tamer! Why does he have a lollipop? What the fuck? What? Alright, I just wa I want you to put this mental image in your mind. He has a, a tiny... He has a whip. And he has a lollipop. For attracting the little kids and then beating them, I suppose. That is, that is some creepy... That is some creepy stuff, game. Ooh, a sand slash. We're so afraid. But Slim Cog's got the strength to back him up. This. Jesus Christ, that's a big turtle. Uh, let's use Surf. That is that is a weird looking move. I'd, to tell you the truth, I never really liked Surf in the earlier games. Like, I recall that a lot of people who I knew back, back in the day when Pokemon was actually popular and socially accepted, um, they actually liked the animation for Surf. I didn't. I just, I just don't like it. There's especially a lot of Surf people are fanatics of the uh, gold and silver surf move where it's like a wave going up and then dropping down. Oh 
Yeah, you got beat, Tamer. <laughs> the Tamer was tamed. That'd make that'd make a good name for this video, but unfortunately, I'm I'm not gonna do that. A, a sand slash. Wow. Did did they not learn the first time that you cannot take out my might with with silly little Pokemon like Slash? I mean, after all, we've got we've got all these great Pokemon. Uh, let's use Fly. Oh dear lord, they poisoned Mike. Yeah, let's switch over to Birdo. And have him karate chop the shit out of that Pokemon. Alright. We're coming up on Koga here, so let's see if I have... Yeah, Max Potion. We're gonna use that in Dig Dug, because we're gonna need his assistance very soon. Switch him out for the main Pokemon, and... We will fight him. Fwahaha! <laughs> Apparently that's how Japanese people laugh. I mean, a child like you dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. Basically just poison techniques. He has no sleep techniques. Ninja man. I mean, Koga wants to fight. Venonat. Oh my. This could be bad. Venonat is bug and bug. So we're going to have to use Dig. Yay, took him out one hit. Thank God for Dig Dug. And then Venonat again? Well, luckily we have a, a very good Pokemon for that. Oh, dear Lord. Yay, we took him out, but just barely. That's pretty bad against a, a freaking Venonat. Is this all he has is Venonat? Well, they totally switched this gym around. Because in red and blue, he has, I believe... A Grimer, a Coughing, a Muck, and a Weezing. Which makes him actually pretty challenging, but this this is just too easy. Yeah, let's bring in let's bring in Bristle. I don't know, maybe he is bug poison. I could be mistaken, but who knows? Ooh, Venom Venom Moth at level freaking fifty, Jesus. That is one strong Pokemon. Alright, let's use confusion. As, as you may know, that move is uh, super effective due to its part bug. However, I don't care because he's about to die. So, Skull Bash, what it does pretty much is the first turn they'll lower their head and the second turn they'll bash. Skull Bash. You know, it's ingenious, but... And he is destroying me. Um... Dear Lord, I did not expect it to come down to this. Alright, Dig Dug's gonna have to finish him off. Oh, dear Lord. This this is just horrible. This is just horrible. I lost against a ninja. How great is that? I mean, there's no way to top that. You just can't. I just got ninja Gaiden, pretty much. Well, you know what? That's actually... That's actually going to be pretty easy to take him down this time. I was prepared for him to have those Pokemon, believe it or not. So, let's just switch over to to uh, Mike. Maybe I have him just do the brunt of this work here. Alright, let's 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 get through here with a, as least amount of counters or encounters as possible. Alright, fight Koga. Yes, you're, you're, very, you're very intimidating, Koga. With your Venonat. Why do you have so many freaking Venonat? And a Venomoth. Jesus Christ. That is one powerful Venomoth. I mean, level 50? That's a bit much, don't you think? Pukachi couldn't even take it out. Oh god, I just pretty much healed him. What is going on in this fight? Alright. We have to take him out. Yes, Dig Dug, you are the man. You are the man, Dig Dug. I'm sorry for the lack of commentary for the past couple seconds, but... Jesus, God. <laughs> you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. We got some money, some moolah, some cha-ching, if you will. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokémon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. We got TM6. Aren't we happy? TM6 contains toxic. Hoo-ah! It is a secret technique over 400 years old. 
That's a lie. They didn't have technical machines 400 years ago, Koga. He's so silly and technologically impaired. Anyway, that is all we have time for this time on Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Tune us back next time outside the Pokemon Center, where we will go and do whatever it is that we do in these videos. It's been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.